Can you tell us your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is uh, Felician, originally from Congo, but now I'm living in Beaverton, Oregon. And Felician, can you tell us what was your problem that you were experiencing and what is your testimony today? Oh, first of all, when I first came to USA, I, I lived in uh, Rochester, Minnesota. And um, I went to, the, they have to do an eye muscle surgery. And when they were taking the test, they found that my blood pressure was um, a little high. At that time, it was like a 140 over, uh, over 90. And then the physician say, maybe it may be stress. We have to take two or three times before we can decide if it's really a blood pressure. And then I went there the second time, it was still high. And then the third time, it was still high. But then I didn't go back again to prescribe the medicine. So I went to Duluth, Duluth, Minnesota, and then Washington. And then after Washington, I moved to Oregon. But now when I was in graduate school, I wanted to join the Peace Corps after finishing the graduate school. So you have to go also through the medical checkup. So when I went there, then they found it was too high. Now it was like 168 over, I think, 98, so too, too high. So they started giving me medicine in order to lower it so that it can become normal. They try until I graduated, nothing happened. And then I was tired of medicine because sometimes I react with my body, so I didn't want any more medicine. But then I stay like this, I say, if needed to die, I, I, need, I can die because taking medicine every day, I don't, I don't like that. So, but now, last uh, October, so it was, and when you don't take medicine, it becomes worse, it becomes worse. And uh, I noticed that my feet were swelling, and then even my legs, and if you drink a little of wine, it will swell more because high blood pressure doesn't like alcohol or salt, and sometimes even if, even if it meets, it, it make again more trouble. But then in October, after I learn about TB Joshua, maybe I can come back to that, how I, I came to discover this ministry. Do you mean October of last year? Yes, this October last year. So my feet is having a lot of pain. And uh, I, I was looking on the, I have my screen, my uh, laptop, I was looking there and then I say, pray with TB Joshua because I have a lot of pain in my feet. I touch the screen and then I pray with him. When I slept, I wake up, the, the pain was gone. And wow, put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> now you had mentioned a little bit earlier that you had wanted to join the Peace Corps but you were... Uh, had high blood pressure, were you able to actually join the, the Peace Corps? No, because of high blood pressure, because when I graduated, it was still high, and I didn't want to start spending money to, 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 to buy medicine in order to go to Peace Corps. I just say, no, myself, I was tired with the medicine, because sometimes they give that, it reacts strongly with my body, so I didn't want that. But then, when, when the pain was gone, I noticed also that I could not now walk long distance without any problem, because before, when I was walking, for people who have blood pressure, you start uh, breathing very fast. And if you are going through the hill, it becomes worse again. And, uh, and so it makes a lot of a pro problem like that. And then I feel it's gone, it's gone. And then I start raining, so it's gone. And yesterday I came here, I, I walked from the Greyhound to, to the hotel. I want just to test again. So, so nothing happened, and I work from hotel to here. So I didn't even uh, breathe very fast like I used to do. Wow, that's amazing. Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> and so today, can you say you have no more pain in your feet? Yeah, I don't have any more pain. I don't, I don't have any more uh, uh, blood pressure. And I have uh, people from Catholic War, uh, who, my, who I consider like a family here in USA. They use always to, to, to worry about my blood pressure, but I told them it's gone. And that's why I didn't go to the hospital to confirm, because I know it's gone. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> and can you tell us, what is your advice that you have for people today who might be suffering with the same condition of high blood pressure? What can you say to them? Yeah, first of all, I think... Uh, I... 
what I can say, what I can say, maybe I can start by how I connect to this ministry of TB Joshua. Because I have a, a relative in Canada, and uh, we talk a lot on the phone. He told me about TB Joshua. And I didn't believe, because I have a lot of doubt about him. I told him someone, something coming from Nigeria, I, I, you have to watch it very carefully because maybe it may be a scam. Uh, you have a lot of scammers over there. He said, no, no, no. There are people there from our country who go there, they get healed, and then they come back. So I went to, I, he gave me, he said, just type on YouTube. I typed the name, I went there. And the miracle I saw, it was very astonishing. And I saw the deliverance, I saw the miracle, I saw the testimony. Many people I know, like the, the president of Zambia, former president Chiluba went there, President uh, Pascal Yusuba, too many people there, Joyce Banda. I said, but those people are very, very smart people. If they go there, this means this guy is not scam. And then I saw the Kruzad in uh, Indonesia, in everywhere. I said, no. And then I went to Wikipedia, because I was still searching. I went to Wikipedia to learn about the life of that man. I saw that he started that ministry for a long time. And so I say, if he was a crook, they could have already catch him. So he's a real man of God. Amen. Uh, yeah, so he's a real man of God. So that's why I start now following this, and the problem are solving, are going away by themselves. So you have to, not only to, to, to follow Jesus, but you have to know the church, because there are thousands of churches where Jesus is. Amen. So that's the advice I can give to people. Amen. Thank you so much. Put your hands together for Jesus.